is part of the, our organization committee. And today we decided that we flip and he is our guest speaker for tonight. So we will speak about podcasting, why a business should consider podcasting, and actually not necessarily only business but everyone. What are the advantages of podcasting or blogging or social media? Thank you, Adam. Most of you are here because you are entrepreneurs, you are professional, and you are in particular in the LinkedIn platform because you would like to get known. But there is one thing as entrepreneurs, as, as entrepreneurs, you didn't know that you had a second job. And that second job is the job of marketing. Marketing yourself, making sure that people know about your product, about your service. So many of you have chosen LinkedIn as one of the vehicles to market yourself. And this is what happened when someone is in the LinkedIn platform. When a consumer goes, they usually take their phone or their computer, and they just scroll. Scroll, ah, I like that, like, and then they scroll. And many of us spend sometimes hours preparing the content that we are going to put in this platform in order for somebody else just to flick it with a finger, just like that. We had a, 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 we have a speaker a few weeks ago, and our speaker was telling us techniques to make your video in LinkedIn more attractive. And he spoke that the ideal time for a video would be three minutes. Why three minutes? Because that's the atten maximum attention span that we can expect from, from a, from a user of LinkedIn. After three minutes, you have probably lost everybody else. This is the same video that many of you, if you are a girl, you probably put makeup, eyelashes, your nails, and a nice shirt, and you probably make sure you have a nice lighting so you reflect well, and that there is nothing in the background for that video to be flicked like that in a second. So what if, what if there was a platform where you can grab the attention of the person that you want to reach. What if there was a platform where would people would be waiting anxiously for your content, that they will be waiting for you every week, waiting to see what is it that you have to say. If you are a leader in your industry, if you know what you are talking about, if you are providing value to your audience, what if you could do that? What if your platform was growing every week? 100, 150, 200, 300 people waiting for your passage. Imagine that you are uh, young and you have marketing products like she does, and you get to tell people, well, this is my latest marketing product. You can use it for this kind of time in this and such a way. Christmas is coming, the holiday is coming, this is our new whatever gadget that we have. Imagine if she could say that to her audience every week. Or imagine that you are like Kelly. Kelly is an advocate for people with disability. She's an advocate for people who are different, for gays, black, whatever is different, she's an advocate for that. Imagine if she had an audience of employers, and she can tell to them, this is how you make your workplace more inclusive. This is how people with disabilities can become part of your group. Or, or Hugo, Hugo, where, where are you, Hugo? Okay, Hugo has an amazing product. Hugo creates websites that are tailored for the visitors of those websites. And not many people, when Hugo told me about those websites, I was just blown away because each website tailors to me, the visitor. Okay, so imagine if Google could explain this to the public. Okay, you can use this website in this such a way and this will increase your conversion by, I don't know, 20, 30 percent. Would that make you money? Would you like to hear my message? Okay, so people will be eager to hear Google's message if that will make them money. Well, you think a platform for that will be of any value? You think Hugo or Gian or Kelly will benefit from a platform like that? 
But that platform is podcasting. Podcasting, so who, first of all, who am I to speak about podcasting? Let me tell you just a little bit of my story as a podcaster. I just started 18 months ago. I just started with zero listeners. There was no one waiting to hear my message. No one knew who I was in the podcasting arena. And still, millions of people don't know who I am. But over the period of 18 months, I get now 600 downloads per month. 600 downloads for me means there are 150 people waiting for my message every week. So imagine this room multiplied by two. Those are the people who get to listen to my message. And not only for a few seconds, Instagram style. When I have, when I create a podcast, people listen to me for half an hour, 45 minutes, for a whole hour. I get to disseminate my message. I've been creating podcasts for 18 months. I speak to New York Times bestseller authors. I speak to international speakers. I speak to politicians. I speak to athletes. I speak to scientists. And I get to get that story and points of value that later on I can share with the audience. So this is how, this is, this is my podcast, and this is how I try to help uh, my audience. Now, the question is, why you should consider podcasting? Well, there are three simple reasons. First of all, it is easy to create. A podcast is nothing more than recording audio. So we spoke about recording video. You have to worry about the lights. You have to worry about makeup. You have to worry about sound or, or, or whatever. All these things. With podcasts, the only thing that I have to worry about is about the message that I'm communicating to my listeners. So it is easy to create. I record this uh, audio format. I put it to the cloud. I press publish, and the publishing is not that much different from publishing a post in Instagram or, or, or LinkedIn or one of these platforms. And there it is, available for the whole world to see. Why else should you consider podcasting? It is not expensive. So a video camera can cost you anywhere from $500 to $1,000, $2,000. In podcasting, this is my biggest investment. This, this microphone, you could buy it on Amazon for $50 to $100. And of course, if you think you are a pro, there are microphones all the way up to $10,000. But actually, for the quality of sound needed, a $50 to $100 mic would be enough. All of you, I assume, all of you have laptops, all of you have phones, all of you have recording devices. So you don't have to invest money on that. And then a software to edit the sound. And then there is a free software called Audacity, which is the one that I use. And it's completely free. You don't have to spend one cent in this. And what do I use software to edit sound? Well, sometimes my guests, they go, uh, mm, uh, and I just take those, those sound bites out, and then their conversation or their voice seems seamless. So that, that's why you should consider <laughs> Podcasting. How big is podcasting? When we think of the sphere of the size, the magnitude of, of the reach that we can get to podcasting, podcast, if we compare it to blogging, there is one podcast for every <coughs> 1,000 blogs out there. So podcasting has decades and decades to go before it can even get close to video as a, as a means, I mean, blogging as a means of communication. But get this, there is 1,000 blogs for every one podcast, but the average North American, 40, about 42% 40, of the average American look at blog, while for podcasts, 32% of North Americans listen to podcasts. So look at that reach. There are 1,000 blogs, there's one podcast. Blogs reach 42%, podcasts reach 32%. And group podcast is growing as far as reach. More people are listening to podcasts every day. It's, common. it's becoming more of part of our culture. So 
this, this is where there is room to grow in podcasts. 90 million people listen to podcasts every month. So there is still that ability, that room to grow. Now, the question is, why should you consider podcasts as already there are multi-million dollar corporations that use podcasts as one of their means of communication. They have discovered this powerful tool, and some of these corporations are Slack. We all know Slack, or many of us use, well, they use a podcast in order to connect with the audience. There is General Electric, we know General Electric. There is Shopify, I think I saw some signs for Shopify here. There is Basecamp, there is Sephora, there is Seat Recruiter. So, you may say, oh yeah, those are big corporations, they have the staff. What about little old me? I'm just a financial advisor. I'm just a consultant of branding. You know, how am I going to get rich? How am I going to get people to subscribe and listen to me? Well, um, uh, the last time we did a LinkedIn local, uh, John did a presentation on, on C CRM, right? And after his presentation, there were Hundreds of questions. John, how do you do this? John, how about that? And he has stayed here about good 20 minutes answering all those questions. Imagine if John, every week, he says, I'm going to answer three of the most common questions of this week. And he gets on and he says, okay, welcome to the John podcast, CRM. And today we're going to ask a que answer a question from Joe, Lucy, and Teresa. And those questions are, are this, this, and that. Imagine if John interviewed other consultants like himself. Or imagine that he interviews the clients and says, what is your pain point? How can I do a better service to help you? Or he gets to do comparison products. So now, as a, a, as a shopper, he gets to see, wow, John did a good job comparing this product A versus product B. And over time, John, First of all, he will build an audience. He will build the three main things that every entrepreneur wants, which is to be known, like, and trust. John, he will develop uh, an authority in the field. So every time anyone has a question about C CRM, they're gonna ask John, because he's been speaking about it for months. And not only that, people will notice and he will get invited to other networking events because he's the one who knows it all. So imagine if you, the financial advisor, the branding consultant, the marketing consultant, if you have this ability to connect with your public and you can answer the questions and take care of the pain points even before they have their problems, do you think that would be good for your business? Do you think that will help your branding? Do you think that will make you indispensable? Do you think you will make a little bit more money if you are just that person? My friends, broadcasting is just being born right now, and there is room for all of you in podcasting. Let me know if you have any questions. So, a round of applause.